What's happening, everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video tonight. I'm going to take a look at one from out of Louisville. So out of John Sharon's territory. Big shout out to John. Make sure you check out his channel, John Sharon. He goes do some beers here on YouTube as well. But this is going to actually come from Goodwood Brewing, one of the local brewers there. And this is their Oktoberfest beer that is actually a rum cask barrel beer. So 7% ABV, didn't have the IBU listed. They uh, basically fermented in rum cask, which I always like to find craft beers that are experimenting with different things. I do like the taste of rum, so definitely wanted to check this one out. Not always a huge Oktoberfest fan, so hopefully the rum can offset that a little bit. But Goodwood is, like I said, a brewery out of Louisville. And I believe John told me at one point that he thinks they broke off from BBC, which is Bluegrass uh, Brewing Company. So let's go ahead and check this one out to see what this has to offer. Now, as I pour this beer, I can actually already smell the rum flavor coming off of in the uh, off the beer in the notes. Oh wow, you get a nice potency of the rum yeah that's actually bringing a little bit of life to this one and then behind it you're getting some of those malts you're getting some of that yeast smell you usually associate with an Oktoberfest beer not really getting too much of any hoppiness but you can definitely smell the alcohol taking place take a look at that right there it's got a nice orange color on it a little bit of a haze can't really see all the way through to the other side a little bit of a cloudiness but I can make out some of the carbonation I drop a light behind it and you can pick up the carbonation a little bit more but it's got the shadows on there because of the haze lightens up from about halfway down towards the bottom not really any head though head was really thin on this one as it poured out so it didn't get too much there and I'm getting some of that wood note too in the aroma so wood rum are really dominating that flavor as far as the taste I get a nice little sting to the tip of the tongue I get that wood flavor uh, that wood notes in the which I can't talk I get that wood flavor in the mouth it's got a little bit of thinness but just a tiny bit not too overly thin I do pick up like a little bit of a watery texture but it sits on the palate nice it's not too overly carbonated if you like the flavor of rum you definitely get that coming through in the taste as well goes down okay on the back end not really too harsh at all I can feel the body heating up a little bit from the flavors and it's actually jumping off the tongue nicely Two or three gulps in, I can feel it already kicking around the cheek action. Has the cheeks tingling a little bit. Very lively in the mouth. Does have a nice little mouth feel and mouth coating with this one. And all in all, it's an okay beer. I mean, it's boozy. If you don't like that taste of the liquor, of the rum, then this might be a turnoff for you. But if you like that liquor taste when things are barrel aged, you definitely get that here. You're going to definitely feel this warming up by the time you get to the end of the glass or to the end of the bottle. Almost causing like a chewy sensation in the mouth right now. So I do like that part of it. It's kind of what I expected to go in as far as if the rum did come through and they did a pretty good job of getting that rum coming through on this one. But I can see where this could also be a turnoff for people that aren't to that level yet and their palates haven't developed. But definitely one I say worth giving a try, especially if you like the barrel aged beers and you like the taste of rum. But yeah, good wood. I don't know if there's ever bad wood, but good wood out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, if you happen to see it, go ahead, check it out. If you've had it before, let me know what you think about it. And uh, that's all I really got to say about that one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this. Appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. Look forward to catching the next one. Keep drinking good craft beers and cheers.